be Columbia? Yeah. 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 I want, I want to play Argentina in the next round. We owe them one. Yes. Right? Yeah. I want to beat them on a handball. <laughs> I want to beat Germany on a penalty shootout. You'll, you'll Japan break that Japan table. Gaia. You'll Japan break that Gaia. table. We can play Japan and make them build a big bridge after their game. <laughs> Come on! Hello. 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 The George Formby of the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to Fantasy World Cup Live. Later on, we'll be recreating the first ever sending off in a World Cup final. And we'll be saying a big hello to Michael Bowen. Hello, I'm Michael Bowen. <laughs> Obviously, we were going to leave that clip until far too late in the show. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> it is, he is called Michael Bowen. There's his passport. There's Michael Bowen, yeah. It's all real. And uh, we are wearing our special lucky England shoes that we were wearing uh, for the <laughs> Chidi oh. game, so... So, here you are. <laughs> Never mind them. Won't be wearing them again. We'd like to thank, as well, um, a bloke who wrote in suggesting himself as an almost namesake of a footballer for us to say hello to, of Romanian Adrian Ilya. Yeah, thanks for that, mate. Um, <laughs> he says he's got the same Christian name, the similar sounding and metering surname. His name is Adrian Collier. <laughs> Close. Uh, yeah. He says he's heard that Mr Ilio is a bit of a hard man. As for me, well, I suppose I'm 90% George Formby and 10% George Michael. Right. <laughs> oh! Oh! So he shagged you in a public toilet and then said it's turned out nice again. <laughs> It, it tries to talk us around. Stop doing George, George Formby. Formby George Formby, crazy. We need George Formby. He really wants to be on the show to try and talk us around. He says, I have met Penelope Keith briefly on two occasions. <laughs> <laughs> That's good enough for me. Yeah, he should be on. <laughs> Stop we'll him on there. We've got a picture of him. Hold on. Oh, Adrian don't. Collier. Oh, we have, yeah. There he is. <laughs> there he is, to the manor born. Yeah, you, oh, can, well. you can imagine Penelope Keith getting on well with him. <laughs> Let's get on. Anyway, here's a few things we've noticed from watching the World Cup over the last couple of days. David Beckham claimed he had a hard time persuading the England management team to bring him on when Ince got injured tonight. No, no, he's right, John. Guess gone isn't in the squad. <laughs> <laughs> and it was nice to see Roy Keane at the Brazil game the other day. Although he has let himself go a bit during his long layoff. Nesse campeonato mundial, imagina que o And nowadays, English commentators have to remain impartial. But in the old days, they'd say anything to make opposing players look bad. Winger Kokoko, their leading scorer in the qualifying rounds with six goals in ten games, is said to have once run down a zebra. <laughs> It doesn't mean like you criticise one, mate. It means in a car, I think. He didn't just say, well, oh, that's a very poor quality zebra. <laughs> <laughs> and Brian Moore is suing BBC Two's The Fast Show for stealing the Suit You character that he was doing back in the 70s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's comic genius, Brian Moore. Um, Stato, how are you? Stato! There's a terrible echo in there, I don't know if you noticed it. <laughs> Stato, tell us a story from the news. Well, of course, big day for Scotland tomorrow, and several Scottish players have vowed to bleach their hair if Scotland make it to the second round. Colin Hendry has decided to enter the spirit of things by promising to dye his hair black. Oh, God, that'll look horrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. So, so you're, a, you're a Scotland fan, aren't you? Of course, yeah. Uh, Stato. So will you dye your hair blonde if Scotland get through to the next round? Is that a challenge? You want me yeah, to yeah. yeah. Will you do it? Really proper bleach blonde. Proper bleach blonde. That'll be fantastic. I look for you'll look very much like a woman I shagged in Smedic in 19. You sure that was a woman? If you're watching Deirdre. She wasn't called Deirdre. Have you got any anything else for us? Yeah, Matt and Joe from Barons Court in London were reading the Hello magazine of June the 6th, and they say Gary Lineker is one step ahead and has already had his hair dyed. <laughs> Bloody, it looks like him, I tell you. Oh so, God. we've been playing, we've been playing a game, haven't we, with names in the World Cup? Yeah, well, you know when you're watching the World Cup and you're not crying, mm. then uh, <laughs> you play little silly games. And what we do, we, we put two players' names together to make a new word or phrase. For example, if you take, like, Philip Koku from Holland, right, 
and then Jürgen Kohler from Germany, you see? <laughs> clever. Kohler. That's clever. Yeah. Or you can take uh, Jettel Rechtal. Yeah. You know oh, Rechtal. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. You can put him with Jamal Salami from yeah. the Rock. <laughs> Jamal Salami. You get Rechtal. No, I know. Uh, there wasn't a... <laughs> What is a rectal salami? It isn't a well-known phrase, <laughs> rectal salami, but in some sections of society, yeah. it's very commonplace. It wasn't, it, it, wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't a player called Thermometer, so he couldn't do it. <laughs> it is, of course, possible to come up with much cleverer ones than that, and so far, the best compound we could come up with from players' names in the World Cup is this one. Bigeri Arse. <laughs> Now, if you think you could come up with a better name compound made up of players from the World Cup than Big Airy Arse, it's a tough one. It is hard. <laughs> Fax us on 0707. <laughs> 782.86. He looks good there, doesn't he? He does, yeah. yeah. Obviously he looked that, like Stato. They are standing very close to him. Well, I'll take so, your word for that. Yeah. <laughs> um, while you're wondering, actually, the Korean coach you got the other day, he had a silly name compound already, just in his own name. His name was Char Bum Kun. <laughs> Very close, that Very, very close, yeah, that indeed. Have, that yeah. could have been really good. Firstly, I don't like racism. Mm, right. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the it? doorbell with Sylvia Christelle, I should think. Is it? If it is... It is Gallagher. Noel Gallagher and Ian Brodie! <laughs> Well, it's fantastic to have you on, because we've got a good record with pop stars on this show, so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we thought we were a bit worried about the old Johnny Rotten thing, so we thought we'd get Noel Gallagher on. Play safe. <laughs> <laughs> so, we only had one bottle of brandy anyway, by the way. <laughs> so, so, you watch the game, obviously. Yeah. yeah. What do you think? It's not happening, is it? But it's... Glenn Hoddle is... I don't, know, I don't know what game he was watching, but after the game he said that England's doing enough to win it, but they haven't... They weren't even in the game until Michael Owen came on. No. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think... I think they deserve just about to get a draw just because just they brought Owen on, but I don't think they deserve to win it at all. Yeah. Well, well it was good to see the midweek of your single fluctuating as the calls were going in up there. It was started <laughs> off at one, then it, it went down at 26. Right. And it went back yeah. up to one again, and now it's about 42, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't come home too soon. We're recording tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Cover version. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be all right. Come it's going to be all right, because if we draw or beat Colombia, we're going to go through. It'd be all right to kick off against Argentina, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. It's true, though, wouldn't it? Do you think they'll be nasty against Argentina? <laughs> I'd like to think so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anyway. <laughs> That's the last time we do a charity record for you Romanians as well. <laughs> We actually paid for the kits they were playing in. <laughs> <laughs> and their airfare. That's a good point, but there was a few adopted orphans thrown up the wall tonight. They wouldn't be there. <laughs> anyway, Ian, what did you reckon? Uh, I mean, I, I was glad when Michael Owen came on. I, I, I do think there's a, there's a bit of a thing where if you, if you asked anyone who they'd rather have in, in their team playing for their club, Teddy Sheringham or Michael Owen, they'd mostly go for Michael Owen. You know, oh, I know I would. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. It'd be nice to see him on there all the time now, you know. But you should have brought McManaman on as well. Uh, they should, we were saying upstairs, uh, at nil-nil, you should have brought McManaman and Owen on at half-time and just gone for him at nil-nil, but because as soon as they scored, they were just going to get the men behind the ball and that was the game over then, wasn't it? Thank until you know, until Michael Owen, not a natural goal scorer, Glenn. Yeah. <laughs> Good impression, <laughs> that, yeah. you know, it was, I mean, you know, I mean, if he's not a natural goal scorer, I'd love to see one. <laughs> the thing is, Sheringham doesn't really wake up till about 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. If you look back at the video, if, or the video of the game, we'll see Teddy Shelling have, have that shot after about ten minutes and then go, where's Lago? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what we do when we're playing like all our mates now. We're like really good for ten minutes and then you start coughing up phlegm and go, ah, stop for, <laughs> stop for a bag and a beer. A bit of a yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, Dave. Allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see the Hoddle interview. Did he actually think we played better? I think he said something like, uh, you know, we did enough to win, but we let in a couple of silly goals, which, right. you know, you don't, you know, I don't know. Thanks to Kevin Keegan as well for saying that the, there was only one... Yeah. There was only one, one team going to win it. 
There was only one team going to win it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, two minutes right to go. Yeah. Like... He was right, of course, yeah, he but... was right about that. <laughs> <laughs> he should have specified which team, I think. He should have stuck his neck out a bit more. And, and that's why he ended up at Fulham, folks. <laughs> I thought he was obviously a bit depressed tonight, though, but there is one thing which will always make him laugh. I do this for Just kidding. Yeah, just kidding. <laughs> anyway, we we are still, we're number sport. one till Sunday, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> still Sunday, though. Well, yeah, anyway, there's a Columbia on. Games on Friday. Pardon? Columbia Games on Friday. Oh, it's this week, is it? Yeah, yeah it's this week. Oh, so so right. you never know. <laughs> anyway, I don't care about the record. I care about England getting through, and they'll you beat care, Columbia. You care about your royalties, mate. That's who you care about. No, right, that's it, outside. <laughs> <laughs> it's all going up. It's all going off again with the pop stuff. That's everybody else in the music business cares about. I'm not in the music business. God, have you heard me sing? <laughs> There's something we should clear up tonight, actually, on the show, and there's a lot of people think that you two are brothers. Yeah. After we did, <laughs> after we did the video, a lot of people did come up to me and say, oh, it's lovely seeing your brother in the video. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not, are we? We're not. No, I don't think we are. But there, there is a, uh, we have a theory as to why this might be, which is due to the fact that last time you came on the show, my dad was actually in the audience. Yeah, what happened? It, used, it didn't used to be live, this show, right? People have probably guessed that it's live now. <laughs> We've seen it recently. Um, but um, <laughs> what happened was uh, Ian came on the show and Ian came to the door and uh, we needed a shot of the crowd and we hadn't got one at that point, so we had to get one from earlier in the show. And the only one we had was I was talking to David's dad and I said, where is David's dad? And he waved to me, right? So we had to put that in. So yeah. it looked like he came on and David's dad went, oh! <laughs> <laughs> We've got it, we've got it. This is, this this is, is, this. is, what, this is what went out. He's saying, there's my long-lost son. <laughs> and that's why people think we're brothers. Now, they, um, you've had a sort of a football hit, though, because Wonderwall became a Man City chant, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was all right, but it's, uh, it was associated with... What's his name? Alan Ball. Well, yeah, well, we've got different words from Manchester. But, uh, <laughs> it's like, to, to think that, you start, sl I slaved over that song for minutes. <laughs> and, uh, then to go and hear 30,000 people saying, and after all, you're my Alan Ball. <laughs> Yeah, it was a my, wife, my, my wife was most amused at that. One. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. It looks nothing like Alan Ball. <laughs> you know when they, when they sacked Alan Ball, he blamed the uh, the Manchester press for getting him out of the Manchester Evening News, and they said, "Look, we have to print the results, Alan." <laughs> 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 About songs that you, you went to the game in Toulouse, didn't you? And um, uh, in Marseille. In Marseille, yeah. <laughs> you, went to, you, went, you got it very quickly. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's yeah. marvellous. You went to Concord, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. And uh, tell us about it. Were they leafleting <laughs> outside? What? Never mind. <laughs> right. Just we haven't got time for this. I haven't story. got time for this. No, story. I'd love right. to hear this story, but never mind. Oh, I'll okay. tell it, Sean. Yeah, you Have tell you it. I've seen the script before. Oh, okay. <laughs> In the script. I, 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 well, in that case, I, if anyone wants to the story, we'll fax two it to them. These, 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 these two were getting really bitter that they were leafleting the, 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 the lyrics to Vindaloo outside the game of Marseille, yeah. just because they never thought of it in the first place. Yeah, we did. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Is, well, yeah, but that's what it said in the script there. Would you read the did script, it? mate? Where does it say that? You're not a professional man, or what? Oh. It's not <laughs> the script. <laughs> The free kicks in this World Cup so far have been probably the worst collection of World Cup free kicks ever. But there was one last night that we thought was probably our favourite World Cup free kick of all time. Here it is. <laughs> Poor old Jürgen, but we do have an extra drive with Jürgen, which is we asked him to do a Phoenix and he said yes. And then we sent him the script and he didn't like it and he wouldn't do it. Yeah. 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 And the thing was, to be fair to him, he said he didn't want a fee, he could give the fee, the fee to Dr. Bernardo's. But of course, when he pulled out, it means they didn't get the money. Yeah. yeah. Dr. Bernardo's. Yeah, yeah, those poor orphans, yeah. Here they are, actually, outside Jürgen Klinsmann's house. <laughs> <laughs> That's awful, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you could sort of be a go of it. I don't like the show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was very, uh, it was very depressing. Though. Apart from the fact that's going to be all the remaining kids next year. Isn't it? <laughs> um, I don't know where we are in the show now, because usually people, <laughs> people give me time things, but they're not telling me anything. No, so right. I think what I'll say now is, and now, <laughs> come with us on another trip down memory lane.
most enduring memories about Mexico in 1970 was when I was driving down the street and got to the bottom and the traffic lights changed to red. And this car pulled up at the side and he shouted, Excuse me, mate, both your brake lights aren't working. Oh no, that was yesterday. <laughs> Welcome back to part two. Now, you've got some uh, Man City memorabilia. I have, you? yeah. I've got um, Willie Donachie's shirt from the 76 League Cup final. Right. Framed in my kitchen. Is that, is that the only thing that Man City have ever won? The 1976 League Cup final? <laughs> yeah, it was, it was definitely it was the last thing we ever won. Probably the only thing I, well, I ever see and win until, until I die. Right. That's very optimistic, I must say. You got, you got the Liverpool. Right, you got the Liverpool. Mean, you're there, mate. I haven't not kept any, really, no. See, if you kept every time someone at Liverpool had won anything in the last 20 years, you wouldn't be able to move in your race, would you? <laughs> I've got... Not Jeff lately, Astle... Though. Jeff Astle gave me his World Cup shirt from Mexico in uh, 70. Yeah. That it's is lovely. the real... That's the real... That he gave me that. Yeah. That's brilliant. He missed right. that open goal in that yes. shirt. That's <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's nice associated with material, it. That's perforated material, isn't it? Yeah, it's like... It's perforated. Yeah. It keeps them cool. Yeah. Like tea bags. So that's associated with the missing goal. <laughs> and this is a, it's another piece of West Brom memorabilia. This is a 1935 FA Cup losers medal. Really? <laughs> so that's my collection. It's, it's, <laughs> it's bloody uplifting, isn't it? I think. Yeah. We've, well, got, we've got some, some World Cup. Yeah. We've got some World Cup memorabilia. Though, yeah. This we? this is quite. This is worth a lot of money actually. This is. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. It's not from Marseille. This is. Uh, <laughs> this is the bottle that uh, Chris Waddle lost in the sh penalty shootout. <laughs> This is quite a, a lovely bit of memorabilia. Can anyone guess what this bit of memorabilia is? World Cup memorabilia. <laughs> 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 this is, of course, the zebra that the, the, the Zaire player ran over in uh, 1974. We had, a, we had a fax as well from, uh, from someone. Who was that from, that, uh, that fax? Oh, this one, yeah. We got a fax. I don't know, did you, you saw the show the other day? We said that Jim Rosenthal looked a bit like a medieval devil. <laughs> <laughs> Did you think that was fair? You weren't wrong. No? OK. Uh, well, we got a fax from Dave Bull, who says, my son says Jim Rosenthal doesn't look like the devil. He says he looks like Count Von Count from Sesame Street. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. Is it just about Count Von Count as well? Because we mentioned Neville Neville, who is Gary and Phil's dad. That's, that, that, that's, that is a top name, isn't it? It is a top name. <laughs> I, mean, I, think... I mean, you'd have something to say about that, wouldn't you, if he was Neville Neville? You'd have to say, I mean, and there was a war going on at the time. Could have called with a better name than that, couldn't you? Know? But, but Count, but Count <laughs> Von Count's I mean? You'd have something to say to your mum, though, wouldn't you? Like... <laughs> <laughs> it's not something you come across very often, though, is it someone with two names? You ever heard of that before, you? Not often. Well, not Count Von Count? He's very similar. Yeah, he's not a real. He's not real. I'm sorry, <laughs> kids, if you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> we, had, we had a fax from... This is from the son of Neville Neville's mother-in-law's cousin. Yeah. Fact, it, it says. He's really very proud of that. Neil Matthew. And he yeah. says that when you talked about Neville Neville, he said it is his real name and everything, he says, but when you talked about it, the picture you showed wasn't the real Neville Neville. And he sent us a picture of... This is actually Gary and Phil's dad, there yeah. he is. <laughs> That's yeah. it's not strange, funny. Strange enough, we showed a more handsome man, originally. <laughs> well, you know. It's a bit like, um, sort of Bobby Gull with Elephant Titus. Sounds like... <laughs> sounds like a title of a David Bowie track. Yeah, it, it does, does, doesn't it? Yeah. Neville yeah. Neville. Do you want to sing it? No. <laughs> OK. <laughs> did you know, actually, did you know that uh, Gary Neville's favourite song was Master Plan? Which I know, is the B-side of Wonderwall. I know. Yeah? I'll take it back, Gary, if you don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> they had a few... Uh, the strangest favourite song. Tintin. All right. I'm sorry. I just thought of another one. He wasn't, Tintin. Tintin. <laughs> he wasn't a real person either. <laughs> sorry, I thought... What? He wasn't a real person either. No, but oh, so that's one name. name. That's one name. No, it's not. It's two. Name's Tin. It was Mr and Mrs Tin. <laughs> <laughs> In the maternity he, had the hospital. he had a surname, didn't he? And the husband said, let's call him Tin, and she said, don't be stupid, biscuit. And they... <laughs> <laughs> that was how it happened. There is a, there's a World Cup player who's a bit of a Neville Neville, and it is, um, I think it's the Dracos the Dravkov, right? And I'm surprised <clears throat> that Mr and Mrs the Dravkov just thought, the Draco. <laughs> That's all we can think of. Zidane's quite a bad one as well, Well, he's, he's Zinedine Zidane, so he's a sort of an anagram. 
Yeah. Of, his, of, his, of his surname. Yeah. Which I think is very clever. <laughs> so, can I... So, do, I. Can, so um, do you think it'll affect the sale? Oh, he's worried me now. Do you think it'll affect the sales of the record, Ian? The, uh, the game <laughs> We've got no idea. <laughs> it's difficult, but I really it? hope we beat Columbia for every reason in the world, you know what I mean? But not the record label you're talking about. Uh, not talking the record about, label, yeah. the footy team. Hmm. Yeah. It is, a, it is a bit scary. Have you got any little faxes for us, by yeah, the way? I've got this one. Uh, Michael Hodges from Bristol wonders if we'd heard that two South African midfielders, Brendan Augustine and Naughty Makina, had been sent home from the World Cup after nightclubbing until 5 a.m. in Vichy. Mm. Wait, what was the bloke's name? Michael Hodges from Bristol. Brendan <laughs> Augustine and Naughty Makina. <laughs> <laughs> naughty Makina? You got sent so... home for being naughty. <laughs> <laughs> That was very hard. Bravo. Anyway, now it's, it's sounds, time... It sounds like Naughty Bikini, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> now that, you wouldn't send home. <clears throat> now it's time for World Cup Phoenix from the Flames. 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 So, Pedro Monson, you were the first man to be sent off in a World Cup final. Sí, todavía me da bronca. Porque ni siquiera lo toqué. Oh, I can't believe that. Who on earth would deliberately get someone sent off in a World Cup final? Klinsman in again on the far side. Klinsman now Polex this time. The challenge there. Monzor goes off for the challenge. Oh, that's terrible. I think that's the only time a thing like that has happened in such a big game. No sé, creo que pasó en una semifinal de Copa Europea. Really? Who on earth was involved in that? <laughs> Join the red card, the answer is yes. Creo que no tendría que haber sido expulsado. Para mí el árbitro no fue tan imparcial. Oh, come on, Pedro. There was nothing the referee did that night that suggested he supported Germany. <laughs> Pedro, the ref was always putting his hand up. That was his job. The referee, uh, Edgardo Codisol of Mexico, is a, a 39 year old gynecologist. <laughs> so, I bet he was pretty good at handling Maradona. OK, let's do it. I'll be the ref, Dr. Edgardo Mendez Codisol. Frank, you be Jurgen Klinsmann. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. And you, you be Pedro Monzon. Passion, Brian Moore. Klinsman in again on the far side. Klinsman in again on the far side. <laughs> Another free kick. Klinsman now Polex this time. the script. No, I don't know why he wouldn't do that. That was uh, the one we wanted Klinsman to do. <laughs> <laughs> so touchy, these people. Yeah. We should say that um, after that, after that Phoenix, we, um, I was in the changing room after, and I was talking to Karen, our, our uh, wardrobe woman, and she said, Pedro's left his underpants behind. And he did. Pedro Monza left his pants. So we've put, Adam put in a bit of a glass case, right? Because <laughs> he was the first man. <laughs> it's, a, it's absolutely real. He was the that? first man to go off in a World Cup <coughs> final. And if you, you can, can read you get that... that? Oh, there you go. The underpants of Mr Pedro Monzon of Independiente in Argentina. <laughs> first man to be sent off in a World Cup final. And we're going to auction these pants now. If you want to buy it, these are, uh, we'll write a letter. These are absolutely genuine, right? If you're going to uh, send in your bids, and you can fax us on 07 blah, 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 blah. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> and as you can tell, yeah. where's the money going? <laughs> and, and the money will go to Bernardo's. It so will. they'll get their money in the end. So that's yeah. good, isn't it? Yeah. Do you want to put in a bid quickly? Quick bid? Uh, no pressure. No I'll leave pressure. it to you. No. no? <laughs> <laughs> Next to Willie Donnacky's shirt. They're a lovely pair. Yeah. 
<laughs> anyway, anyway, thanks, Ian. Yeah, thanks, thanks, Mel. You've been brilliant tonight. Next week's guest, now Wednesday's guest, the Barry Venison and the ridiculous bloke who offended Sylvia Crystal. <laughs> 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 oh, I never did Albert Steptoe one. Uh, it's too late. We haven't got oh. time. Oh. Hello, Jeff. Have you come as Albert Steptoe? Have you come as Albert Steptoe, Jeff? Harold! Jeff Astor. <laughs> 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 Why? I tell you, it was all a phrase. They only did it because of fame. PMI! 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 Too many people have to sus.